So how do you keep that excellent bottle of wine from going bad after you've opened it? Well, you could drink it. But if you don't want to finish it after you've opened it, there are options. I'm going to pit three popular preservation systems up against each other. The Coravin versus the Pultex Antiox versus the Repor. Find out which one is cost effective and is right for you. That's all coming up. I'm Matthew Horky. For the last seven years, I've traveled around the world tasting thousands of wines annually in search of the most unique, exciting, and expensive bottles on the planet. You have to know that wine is a living thing, and in essence, wine wants to become vinegar with time, and that happens with prolonged exposure to oxygen. So in order to preserve wine, you've got to keep the exposure to an absolute minimum. For years, the best device for preserving wine has been the Corbin. This is the gold standard. This is the system that I use and trust. However, it can get pricey. Plus, you have to buy these capsules, which can start to add up. So that's why I'm going to try these other systems and see if they perform just as well. In this little experiment, I'm going to test three different bottles of the same wine over a two-week period to see which system works out best. But to do that, I'm going to need three bottles of the same wine. Hmm. Let's see what I can do here. So I had a budget for this video of about $15 per bottle, which, you know, keeps my options kind of limited. This is the Otella Lugana 2020. I wanted to use a fresh white wine because usually they have popping aromatics. And after time, after you open them, the nose, it starts to dissipate. They start to get less crispy over time. That's why I think it's the perfect candidate. This comes in at $14.99. Lugana is an appellation on the south of Lake Garda in the Veneto in Italy. Lugana whites are mostly made up of the grape Turbiana, which is also known as Trebbiano di Lugana, which a lot of people actually think is Verdicchio. It's no wonder that most people think the world of wine is confusing, right? First up is the Antiox system, this little wine stopper. It's invented by Pultex, who manufactures corkscrews. These come in at about $24 a piece, and they're supposed to last up to a thousand uses. On the website, I couldn't find out what a use means. Maybe it's just every time you put it on, take it off the bottle, that's probably it. The Pultex claims that it will keep the wine fresh for 10 days, so during this two-week period, we're going to be stretching that a little bit. The second system we're using is the Repour. I first found out about these through my friend who imports Italian. Italian wine in Singapore. They're almost used like a topper. You just remove the cork, remove the screw cap, and put it in its place. It has a little packet that's supposed to absorb all of the oxygen. Repour claims that one of these units will last the entire bottle and you can keep using it throughout the life of the bottle. It says that it will keep the wine fresh for up to two months. A four pack of these bad boys comes in at $9.99. They're nice, compact, light, inconvenient, relatively expensive, and Repour does have a program where you can recycle these 72 at a time though. The system that I've loved for years is the Coravin. The Coravin is a wine preservation system where you don't have to remove the cork. It uses a medical grade needle that goes through the cork. The system then shoots argon gas into the bottle, pushes out, displaces wine. And the principle is once you take out the needle, the cork reseals. Coravin claims that wine's supposed to last for days, weeks, months, or even years. Over the last few months, I've pulled some bottles from the cellar that I first accessed with Coravin four and a half years ago, and I didn't have one bad bottle so it made me even more of a believer in the system the only problem is that you have to use capsules and they start to get expensive a six pack of capsules goes for around 52 bucks can start to add up add that to the cost of the Corvin which can go anywhere from 200 to 300 dollars and it's an investment okay let's check all the wines hopefully none of these are corked because then that would completely screw my experiment up I've got a lot of videos on how to use the Corvin so I'm not gonna get into that I'll put those links in the description box below I'm excited to try it. This is my first time trying the wine. This is going to be a good tan can. The first thing I get out of this is white grapefruit, a little bit of elderflower flavor, and some lemon. It's crispy, although it's not too acidic. It's not too sour. It's not too sharp. But this is a really nice wine at $14.99. Another hot tip when you're looking for wine, find a local shop, someone you trust. They're going to steer you in the right direction. I'm going to try to take exactly the same amount out of every single bottle to make sure that this competition is fair. First up, we're going to do the Antiox, but you have to pull the cork on all of these. Exactly the same wine, which is good. The Antiox is a real easy system. All you do is take this sucker out of the box and just stick it on the top here. Okay, next up, the Repour. I hope none of these systems fails, because then that's 15 bucks down the drain. This wine is actually nice. It's a wine that I'd like to drink, and it's summertime here. 
Make sure it's about the same amount. Good. Let's see if it's the same wine. Same wine. All good. For the repour system, you take it out of the box. There's a little tab here, a little silver tab. You open this up, and that allows oxygen to get sucked through in this little system. Take off the tab, stick it in the bottle, and voila. Okay, to be fair, I'm going to store all three of these bottles upright, exactly the same way, exactly the same place, at exactly the same temperature. Let's go. Okay, it's been two weeks, actually two weeks and a day. So let's check out these wines. I had these packed up and bagged by somebody so I don't know what the order is. Number one is still fresh. It's not popping as much as I remember, but there's no oxidation notes. When you talk about oxidation notes, when fresh fruits become start to become dried fruits, when you start to smell some kind of vinegar, when wine starts to smell a little bit old. Wine one's still good, still saline. Maybe lost its pep a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I expect the Corvin one to be really zippy, unless there was a problem with a cork. Number two smells more tired than number one here, the second one. I mean, it's not as fruity. It just kind of smells like wine that's been left open in the fridge for a little bit too long. This one compared to this, not even close. Lost a lot of its zip. Let's check out the third one here. Third one is still very, very fresh. Still smells like a brand new bottle. Still lemony, still zippy. I have a hard time between one and three seeing which one is better. Hold on. <laughs> this is tough. Okay, the noses on these, on number one and number three, are almost exactly the same, except this one, number three, it's a little bit more zippy, a little bit more crisp on the palate. It's close. This hasn't lost a flavor, this just has a little more zing, a little pep to it. I think. Hold on, let me check one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. That number one, number three were very close. So I think that the third one was a Coravin, and you know, if number one, whatever product it is, I'm gonna super highly recommend it. So I'm excited. Let's unbag what I thought was the worst one, okay? But I can feel it, and it's exactly what I thought. And this is the pull tax with the redox stopper. The one that you put on, you're supposed to use, you're supposed to be able to use for a thousand times. Said it was supposed to keep the wine fresh up to 10 days. So to be fair, we stretched it a little bit. Was it still drinkable? Yes, but you know what? I'm probably not gonna enjoy that bottle so much. So one of these is Coravin and one of these is not. So we might have a big time competitor to Coravin. In second place here, and it was splitting hairs. I mean, it was really, really, really close. It'd be funny if this is the Corvin. I've said the Corvin's the gold standard forever. Let's see here. Oh my goodness! It's the Corvin. <laughs> wow! I'm gonna taste that. That means in first place. My goodness! The Repour comes in at first place. <laughs> That, I, you know, I was not even expecting that to be as cool. Wow, I gotta retaste this. Just, I gotta retaste this. I mean, it's close, but even tasting not blind, the third one is zippier. So, there you have it. My goodness, Repor comes out on top. In full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. I just asked them for samples because I wanted to do this test myself. But now I'm going to ask them if there's an affiliate program. And if there is, and if I can get a discount code, by the time I put this video out, I'll put a link in the description box below. $9.99 for a four pack. You use one for an entire bottle. It means $2.50 a bottle. You can recycle them after 72. So then you have the Corvin. A six pack of capsules is going to cost you 52 bucks. That's about $8.66 a capsule. You're supposed to get about 15 to 20 glasses out of every single capsule. So let's put the cost at $2.88 a bottle. It doesn't sound like too much, especially if you're drinking more higher end wine, but you have to think you have to put the initial investment up front of the Coravin system. The advantage that Coravin has is that you can access it and then you can lay it down in the cellar. Again, this is pretty shocking because I've been a fervent supporter of the Coravin. So the Antioch system comes in at $24. It was okay, but I don't think I recommend this. So let me know, what do you do to preserve wine? Have you had luck with any other products? I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you soon.